Uh, my name is Michael Grandy. I'm a professor at Providence College. And this semester I'm teaching uh, MBA 603, which is the graduate level course in managerial accounting. And we are using the um, Garrison, Noreen, and Brewer textbook, the 17th edition. And today I'm just really going to go through uh, some problems uh, dealing with flexible budgets and performance analysis. And, you know, as we talked about during the PowerPoint presentation, there's three things we're looking for. The preparation of the planning budget. The planning budget is something that is prepared in advance based upon an estimated level of activity. Then we get the actual results, which is typically an income statement prepared by our financial accountant. And then we want to do uh, a comparison, a performance report. And typically you start with a comparison between the budget and actual. And what is unusual is that the budget the planning budget was prepared in advance and does not represent the actual level of activity. So then we need to prepare a flexible budget and the flexible budget tells us how the company should have performed at the actual level of activity. So we have this additional budget report, the flexible budget. And then we can compare how the company actually did with the flexible budget and come up with some meaningful variances, specifically the revenue and spending variances. So what we're going to do today is we're gonna take a look at some problems and let me, let me share my screen with you. And um, what you should be seeing there is um, the cover sheet for our problem. And specifically, we are looking at a series of exercises, but all based upon the same material. And what, what you see here is uh, exercise 9-9, and you see uh, this company, um, Lavage, Rapid, which is a Canadian company that owns and operates a large automatic car wash facility near Montreal. The following table provides estimates concerning the company's costs. So these are the cost formulas. And as we discussed previously, that we need to know several things in order to prepare a budget. We need um, budget assumptions which come in the form of cost formulas. And more importantly, at the very beginning, we need to know our activity level, specifically how many units we intend to sell, or in this case, how many cars we think we're going to wash. And specifically, we're gonna prepare this analysis based upon an estimated level of activity and is prepared in advance. And we need to have a revenue assumption. Again, quantity and price. How many cars do we expect, do we plan to wash? And what is the estimated sale price per unit? Quantity times price equals total revenue. But on the expense and cost side, we recall there's three types of costs and we're interested in knowing how costs behave relative to activity or volume. We first learned about fixed costs, and we recall that fixed costs are constant, that is the total cost stays the same as activity changes. Secondly, we learned about variable costs, where the variable cost per unit is constant, and total cost depends upon the number of units, that is the activity. Again, quantity, times price. And then lastly, we have mixed costs. And a mixed cost is a cost that has an element of fixed per month plus a variable component. So let's take a look at the cost formulas that they have presented here. Um, you have cleaning supplies, which are purely variable at 80 cents per car washed. Electricity is a mixed cost. $1,200 per month plus 
15 cents per car. And then you have depreciation in rent, which are fixed costs on a per month basis only. And then administrative expenses is also a mixed cost with an N. So the first thing that they're asking you to do is uh, required, prepare a planning budget. Prepare a planning budget. And we got to go up a little bit where it tells us the company expects to wash 9,000 cars in August and collect an average of $4.90 per car wash. So they give us the estimated level of activity, which is important, and the revenue estimate. So the first thing we want to do is prepare the planning budget, which is based upon estimated level of activity. And if we look at my solution here, let's kind of reduce this a little bit so we can see it. This is the planning budget based upon the estimated level of activity, 9,000 cars. And the revenue is 9,000 cars times $4.90 a car. And we look at all of the budget assumptions that they gave us, cleaning supplies, 80 cents per car, 9,000 cars, $7,200. The electricity is a mixed cost, which is $1,200 a month plus 15 cents per car. Maintenance is purely variable. Wages and salaries is mixed. Depreciation and rent are fixed at $6,000 and $8,000 per month. So based upon an estimated level of activity, this company estimates that it will have net operating income of $5,950. So typically a manager prepares this kind of a report and then puts it in a drawer and waits till the month to be over and see what the actual results were. So let's move along to the next part of the problem. So look at number, number nine. And it says, it says here, nine dash 10. The company actually washed 8,800 cars. And they're asking you to prepare the flexible budget. So remember, by definition, the flexible budget answers the question, how should the company have performed at the actual level of activity? So you're still going to use the budget assumptions, but with the actual level of activity, the 8,800 cars. So let's take a look at that solution. Here is our flexible budget. And again, it's based upon actual activity, but using the same exact cost formulas. Revenue, the estimate doesn't change. It's still an estimated $4.90 a car. Multiply times actual activity, 8,800 cars. Revenue should have been 43,120. The same thing with all of our other costs. Use exactly the same formulas except Q, the level of activity, is 8,800 cars, which represents the actual activity. So based upon this information, net operating income should have been 5,280. That is the flexible budget. Next item here is 9-11. It says, Refer to the data, the company actually washed 8,800 cars. Calculate the company's activity variances. So these are the variances, these are the differences that should have occurred simply because of the change in activity. That is the difference between the estimated level of activity, 9,000 cars, and the actual level of activity, 8,800 cars. So let's take a look at that. Variances as a result of change in activity only. Let me kind of reduce that a little bit. You're comparing the flexible budget, how the company should have performed at the actual level of activity, and the planning budget, how the company should have performed at the estimated level of activity. These are activity variances 
variances that occur just because of the change in activity. And the only variances you're going to see here are those which have a variable component to them. There should be no differences in fixed costs. So the revenue number is down, right? It's unfavorable because they actually washed 200 cars less than expected. 200 cars times $4.90 a car is $980 unfavorable variance. The cleaning, anything that has a variable component will have a favorable variance because the number of cars estimated to be washed and actually washed went down by 200 cars. Therefore, anything with a variable component will go down as a cost. Fairly straightforward. Let's take a look at the next item. They go on to tell us here in 9-12, Assume that the company's actual operating results for August are as follows. So these are the actual numbers. These are the amounts. This is the income statement prepared by the financial accounting as a result of what happened. How the company collected and spent money. One of the things that's important here to see is that this is an income statement for the month of August. And net operating income is 3140 So it says here, calculate the company's revenue and spending variances. So what you need to do here is compare the actual results with the flexible budget. Because the flexible budget shows you how the company should have performed at that actual level of activity, 8,800 cars. Let's take a look at that solution. Revenue and spending variances. So this is where management needs to be concerned because these are revenue and cost concerns. Again, the flexible budget is a budget based upon how they should have performed versus the actual result. The revenue number, they should have collected 43,120. They only collected $43,080. Yes, there is an unfavorable variance, but it's ins insignificant. It's not worthy of attention. Remember, in performing performance, in preparing performance reports, our goal is to identify problems quantify problems, and ideally rectify problems so they don't occur again. We're looking at uh, variances in cleaning supplies. They spent too much on cleaning supplies. They spent too much on electricity, hence unfavorable. They spent too much money on maintenance. Again, unfavorable. I see a lot of unfavorable variances here, which means that they spent too much money. But the one that is probably the most concerning is wages and salaries. $860 unfavorable variance. I've calculated that to be about 11% over budget. So on a net operating income level, they should have had $5,280 of net operating income, but they only had 3,140, significantly lower than what they should have performed at. $2,140 unfavorable variance, which is slightly less than what? 50% variance, right? 50% would be $2,600. They came up $2,100. Very significant unfavorable variance, which tells me that this company needs to really focus on its costs. They're spending too much money on virtually everything. Let's read what they want next. So it goes on to say here, item 9-13, prepare a flexible budget performance report. So this is everything. 
this is essentially everything that we need to look at now. And three of the significant columns, you know, we've already calculated. The actual results are given to you. The flexible budget, you're taking those budget assumptions and incorporating the actual level of activity. And the planning budget was based upon the estimated level of activity. Remembering that the activity variances are the result of a change in estimated versus actual activity. So you can see here, if we look at the bottom line, based upon the planning budget, they thought they were going to have $5,950 of net income. They, in actuality, only had $3,140 of net income. And you can see that that variance is made up of two things. One is the change in activity. And the second one is the revenue and spending variances. And what I said here is the company did not perform as well as it should have performed. So these problems are fairly straightforward. I think you'll find that this material is very easy. We will see a, uh, in our synchronous class, we will look at another problem, but that, that's essentially it. Thank you.